this one is growing too. It's very small. I think you can see it from this side better. But do you see that? Very soon I have to get a bigger pot to put these ones in because um, I think this thing is not big enough. This pot is not big enough for this flower. So I definitely have to go and get a bigger one for both of these. And then I can plant another set, uh, another one of those seeds here because I know that they're going to work. This is called Tumbling Tower. One of the most exciting thing about this is ha it has dices. I think having a dice makes it more challenging. Do you want us to do the questions as well? I think it's a good idea to do the questions today too. Because it's going to be very boring if I just want to play. <laughs> Would you rather have telekinesis, the ability to move things with your mind, or telepathy, the ability to read minds? You can just go ahead and move stuff with your hand. It's not a big deal. But if you'll be able to read people's mind, that's a real power. Because then, so how are we going to do this? I'm going to take this as a first number, this one as a second. Okay, wait a second. I'm going to bring a, a marker so I can mark one of them so it will be the first number and then the other one is going to be the second number. <laughs> I didn't think wearing this was a good idea. I don't know if I wore it the right way or what, but the top part of it is so weird. <laughs> yeah, so I was telling you, if you're able to read people's mind, that's like the real power. Oh, okay. If you're able to read people's mind, that's like a real power because um, then you can you, you know who you can trust, who you cannot trust. Do I have to put it on all side of it? Probably. Um, but there is something else to that too. If you're able to read other people's mind, you're probably going to um, be depressed because people don't think good things. They're probably going to say very bad stuff in their mind about you. Um, all the things that are not okay to say out loud, but they can think it. And then you're able to know that. So there is a good, ch there is a good chance that you are, um, you're going to have like some sort of depression or something. If you're able to read other people's mind. Okay. Yeah, so we said this is the first number, the one that have dot on it, and then the other one is going to be the second. So it is 53. Wait, what? This is only one till 48. Okay, then I guess um, I have to go, okay, maybe I have to do it another time. That's not good. Maybe one of these shouldn't have more than four. Okay. I'll do it another time, but if the bigger number was bigger than four, we will consider four. I can see some of the flaws in the game right now with the with the dice. So now it's going to be twenty-four. Yeah, twenty-four. Twenty-four is this one. I guess I can take this. So, I guess the length of this video is going to be uh, dependent on how many of these I can take out. So that's the first one. That was easy. Would you rather always have a full phone battery or a full gas tank? Oh my god, this is a real hard question. Because both of them are so important. So I have 64 right now. So, as we said, if it was more than four, the bigger number was more than four, we're gonna go for four because we just have until 48. So that means that I have to take out number 44. Where is 44? Oh, 44 is here. So yeah, but if I have to choose, I think I'm gonna go with having a full, what? always having a full gas tank and the reason for that is it's going to be very scary if you get a stick get a stuck somewhere and you won't have enough gas having 
full gas tank is way better. What if your car breaks down? I think I'm gonna go with full battery because if because at least I can call someone to come and help me. So I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna go with full battery. Would you rather never eat watermelon ever again or be forced to eat watermelon with every meal? This is 53, so that means we're gonna take out 43. 43. I think this is going to be the end of the game. <laughs> there is no way that I would be able to take this one out without the whole thing falling down. But maybe a miracle happened, or there is no miracle gonna happen here. I'm sorry, this video is going to be very short, so I'm going to answer before I take this completely out. Yeah, definitely going to fall down. <laughs> um, can I cheat and do another one? Or Okay, for watermelon, if you want to eat watermelon every single day, I'm going to take it a little bit here. Is there any trick that I can do so it won't fall down? This is horrible. That was too early. If I rather never eat watermelon, because if you want to eat watermelon with every meal, first of all, you're gonna get very bad stomach ache. And second, you're gonna have to pee every second. So you, you need washroom around you all the time. So I rather just not eat water. I mean, I love watermelon, but if I have to eat it every day with every meal, I'd rather not eat at all. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video.